Michigan Magazine is kept on the road by our many Michigan friends. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare. A winning combination. Cops and Donuts. Introducing the Weed Gator. For safe and easy aquatic weed removal, the Weed Gator is the number one alternative to harsh chemicals for getting rid of pond and lake weeds. Safe and effective. See it in action now at WeedGator.net. Made in the USA. The Michigan-made rebounding mailbox pool. Never again worry about the winter snowplow taking out your mailbox with this ingenious rebounding pool. Your mailbox takes a hit and keeps coming back year after year. Call now or visit their website, toughmailboxes.com. Clemex Sales and Service on Mapes Road, west of Mile, your complete recreational vehicle sales and service connection. Visit their beautiful showroom of new and pre-owned ATVs, lawnmowers, power equipment, snowmobiles, utility vehicles, and more. Clemex Sales and Service is also the home of the American-made Victory Motorcycle Line on display at Clemex on Mapes Road, Mile. It's a great big wonderful world out there to discover. In Michigan, it's not only that, but a wonderland of ethnic diversity and lifestyles. On this week's Michigan Magazine, we recall some of the fascinating people and places we've discovered that make up a wonderful Great Lakes tapestry. But first, we compare notes with another TV program that follows that same dream of capturing a land off the beaten path on a national level. It's called Small Town Big Deal. We cross paths by chance along those back roads with a crew and host Rodney Miller and Jan Carl. Stay tuned. Let's discover adventures off the beaten path together on this week's Michigan Magazine. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare. What began as a crazy idea among nine police officers to purchase the historic Clare City Bakery quickly became an international phenomenon. Carrying out a Michigan tradition with delicious donuts, pies, pastries, breads, original coffee, and more. Plus a full menu at the new adjacent Traffic Stop Diner. Downtown Clare, a winning combination. Cops and Donuts. Traveling Michigan's back roads and discovering the unsung heroes or untold stories in the state is a never-ending full-time occupation. We at Michigan Magazine TV have been doing it over a quarter of a century now and haven't even scratched the surface. We fill the museum and storehouses with artifacts and unusual items of interest we've collected and filled countless archives with memories and gifts. And when we've thought we've seen it all, a new generation of heroes and secrets emerge that must be spotlighted. Michigan Magazine is not merely a TV show, but a never-ending mission of pure Michigan. On this edition of the program, we were delighted to cross paths with another television show that has a similar goal, but on a broader playing field, so to speak. And it's also aired here on RFD-TV. The program, into its third season now, is called Small Town Big Deal. Hosted by Southern Country Boy Rodney Miller and Hollywood Country Girl Jan Carl. As a team, they're on a mission to discover the wonderful things happening in small towns across the country. Rodney is a fairly new face to TV audiences as host and producer, but you may have caught Jan on television in varying positions, including a stint as host and reporter in a little nationally known syndicated program called Entertainment Tonight. Rodney began Small Town Big Deal a few years back, hosting solo until recently when Jan joined the team for the love of the concept. Michigan Magazine and Small Town Big Deal crossed paths first in Frankenmuth while we were in Frankenmuth doing a segment on Christmas ornament designer Curtis Posniak, and they were doing a program on Bronner's Christmas Wonderland. We were in the same building. Amazing. Rodney and Jan were into day two in Frankenmuth, heading out the next morning to Cops and Donuts in Clare. After our interview with Curtis and his amazing talent, we witnessed Rodney and Jan in action at Bronner's. Eventually, we chatted a bit and planned to meet up with the crew the next day in Clare, which we did to compare notes. You guys have one of the greatest jobs in the world. I mean, we do something similar here on a statewide level, but you head on all, all, all over the country. I mean, uh, why in the world did you choose Michigan? What was it, some suggestion from a viewer or what? It was, and, and, and I can't think of her name, but you're good with names. <laughs> oh what was her name? Oh my gosh, Marcy. Yeah. And, and we you, met Marcy. Marcy um, at the, um, in Louisville, Louisville. the National Farm Machinery Show. Right. Okay. We were down okay. there filming. So. And so she contacted us from this. She's like, oh, you need to come to Michigan. And I got story ideas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you had us a little stint in Michigan in your very younger years. Very, I mean, yeah, very young. I was like maybe 
two or three until six years old in Lansing, and I have wonderful, fond memories. Yeah. And you did a lot of business in Michigan. Yeah, when I traveled the tractor industry, I've been all over this. I've been to this town before and was in Frankenmuth a lot. I had dealers in the area, so yeah. But you didn't have this much fun. No, never. We have more fun now than it's just, we do have the best job. We feel like we have the best yeah. jobs in yeah. the world. Yeah. Well, Rodney, you're a rural boy, a farm boy from way back. Now, you two got together just fairly recently, about a year or so ago, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, Less we've than been that? filming together for about six months now. Yeah. Oh, okay, six months. You're you're yeah. filming your third season, right? Yeah. But the second season is pretty much just getting underway, is it, or what? How does that work in television? <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Each each market's different. Yeah. But for you, you went on the air September. September sixth. Actually, that's the first day she contacted us too. That's the mm -hmm. when I actually the next day, September seventh. Oh, okay. And then we talked for two or three months, and then we got together and met and. Okay. We could tell we were going to be friends, and, uh -huh. and so we worked out a deal, and we started filming in January. And well, you were going solo there for a while, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, how did this how did this whole concept come, you know, small town, yeah. big deal come about? Tell us no, the story behind the story. It was kind of a dream of mine that started about eight years ago, and it kind of got tweaked a little bit, and um, we finally shot a pilot and got on the air last September, and and we just really enjoy telling the great stories you know i think that's the one thing that we really share our, our strongest bond is that we both love rural america and small town america and we love the great stories and the people mm -hmm. in them it's always about the people it i is. mean this story today is really about these people yeah and, mm -hmm. and so we love that we share that in common and we genuinely have a good time uh, everywhere we go so uh -huh. well yeah i think that I mean, I used to do hard news um, mm -hmm. and and entertainment news, and after all of that, it just it, this show is sort of reinstilling my faith in just everybody mm -hmm. and in America and how great we are as individuals and as a nation. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you feel the same oh, way sure. yeah, when you definitely. travel your great state definitely. because mm -hmm. it's you're reminded of. All that's going on all the time, mm -hmm. when you're busy doing your life, all these great stories, mm -hmm. um, great places, great festivals, great traditions, um, so much patriotism. You know, Jan has a great way of describing our show sometimes. She says it's a love letter to America. And, and, and I think that's a really good caption. That really describes our show. And that love is a never-ending correspondence because the love they show and are shown in each community they visit throughout the United States spawns friendships and memories for a lifetime. And as Jam put it, restores the faith in community and humanity. Today's visit to Cops and Donuts in Clare was quite the experience for everyone involved. It reminded me of one big family outing that just happened to be documented with cameras and microphones. Lots of laughter, camaraderie, and inspiring talk of a promising future. It was a long day for Rodney and Jan and their crew, as it was for Greg Reinerson of Cops and Donuts. The hours the bakery diner opened their arms to the TV crew seemed to go as fast as hot knife through butter. We know you'll enjoy the segments they filmed in Michigan as much as we enjoyed watching them having fun and learning about the undying spirit of the Michigander. If you'd like to view the entire interview we did with Rodney and Jan, we have it up on YouTube and we have a link posted at michiganmagazinetv.webs.com. A big thanks to Small Town Big Deal for sharing their day with Michigan Magazine and wish them safe travels. And to keep spreading the spirit of America off the beaten path. Michigan Magazine is being brought to you in part by Hingeman Acres Canoe Livery and Resort on M33 just north of Mayo, catering to the outdoor enthusiasts. Cabins, canoes, kayaks, rafts, and more. Daytime or overnight trips along the world-famous Asabo River. A family getaway for over 75 years. Something special's cooking hot and delicious. Indulge yourself at Morning at Maggie's in Bay City. Omelets, frittatas, hotcakes, and more. Make every day special with a stop at Morning at Maggie's for breakfast or lunch on Saginaw in Bay City. Lazerne Express Campground is the premier campground with everything to make your northern adventure complete. Modern and rustic campsites, equestrian campers welcome, a huge market with bakery and deli. Nearby RV, hiking, and horse trails along with a complete canoe, raft, and kayak rental. Visit us online, then call for more information and reserve. Reserve your spot today. As one year passes and another begins, one must take the time to see where one's been. At Michigan Magazine, it's always an overwhelming experience when we do that. 
So many people have shared their dreams and lives with us on our weekly television get-together. It's such a great feeling to know that dreams do come true for those who believe and act on their beliefs. From butchers, bakers, candlestick makers, yes, and even Indian chiefs, the tapestry of Michigan citizenry is woven tightly with brightly colored threads of diversity. It truly is a Great Lake state. The talent and artistry of those that live here is always inspiring. Join us now as we take you on another whirlwind tour in celebration of Michigan and her people. Tradition and old world ways are yours to enjoy at a place called Herman's Boy, formerly known as the Melting Pot, nestled in the picturesque community of Rockford, just a bit north of Grand Rapids. Here, Herman's Boy, Floyd Havemeyer, and family have created a bit of Americana with an array of wonderful specialty coffees, teas, and foods. As you step into the front door, you're greeted by aromas sure to spark memories of Grandma's kitchen. The sights and smells are a special treat by themselves. At first glance, you'll think you've traveled back in time into the old general store with its many glass cases and wooden bins filled with delicious surprises. The main part of the Havmeyer's business is their coffee roasting, with a history going back 100 years. Family operations are what we like to highlight here at Michigan Magazine, whether it be the Havemeyers of Herman's Boy or the Monahan family of Gladwin. Pleasing people with their creativity is a trademark of the Monahans. Changing direction in midlife is a common theme among those we visit. As we travel the back roads, we find more and more people are making it on their own, doing something they love to do. When you dream of Scandinavia, your dreams are of the romantic locations of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, and Iceland. Far away from the Great Lakes, although it's thousands of miles away, Michigan has a large population that can truly call this area of the world their homeland. In our previous visits to a place called Punzel's in the Buckley area near Traverse City, we found that the culture is truly unique in their food, heritage, and lifestyle, both very intriguing. It was with delight that we discovered another Scandinavian adventure in the southern part of Michigan recently opening with a virtual potpourri of authentic and hand-picked products. It's called Sweet Anne's Boutique and is located near Baldwin and Clarkston Roads, about six miles out of Clarkston in a rural setting. Now the southern part of the state has access to those wonderful Scandinavian treasures thanks to a husband and wife team that actually travels there to scour the countrysides to bring back to Michigan authentic gifts and food. Owners Ann and Ron Bentley are the most gracious hosts, telling us that not only Scandinavian gifts and food may be found at Sweet Anne's, but also unique classes in Swedish language and culture is taught weekly. Another innovative product coming from creative Michigan minds to fill a specialty niche is something called Virtual Rocks. From the rolling hills of northwestern lower Michigan comes the creativity of the Morton Brothers, Wally and Mark, owners of the Morton Company, producers of Virtual Rocks. You heard right, from the heart of Michigan's Leland Hall County, these two harvest stones and rocks for molds of a virtual rock process that is the basis for two unique products, logo stones and cover stones. The replicas are exact down to the outer exterior. The only way to tell the difference from the real thing is the weight. The Morton Company was founded in 1993 by Wally and Mark after purchasing their father's business, which worked making specialty fiberglass products for many years for companies like John Deere and Kubota Tractor Corporation. The two found it necessary to take innovative action to diversify and counter the dwindling farming business. From Northport, our sites are set south to Freeland, Michigan, and another new company that has created a unique line of clothing dedicated to something near and dear to the heart of nearly every Michigan citizen, the log cabin. I've been looking through magazines to design our home for quite a while and noticed that nobody really had any clothing that went with the mindset of a log cabin and that kind of thing. And so I just said, well, hey, this could be a place where we could get in at the ground floor, offer people what we're seeing as the weekend state of mind throughout the week. A place where you put on comfortable clothing, go home, relax, that kind of thing, but feel like that all the time. Terry came from a business where he had to wear a suit and tie five days a week. So in this business, yeah. he, could, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he could wear comfortable, casual clothing. Yeah. And Some that was our whole mindset of doing the whole thing was, the people that like this kind of thing are the log home lovers, that kind of stuff. The great outdoors. The great outdoors. And being yeah. a biologist myself before uh -huh. we bought the business, that was kind of 
uh -huh. my love of uh -huh. sorts is that the nature type You know, sighing and getting through Mother Nature. Terry and Marie Grinnell of Saginaw Knitting in Freeland. Another wonderful example of how a husband and wife team are filling that specialty niche and doing something they love to do, Cabin Fever Creations. Another true family tradition on this whirlwind tour of some of our best takes us to a small Michigan community of Mears and Moratt's Old Fashioned Bakery. A true step back in time. It's unusual because it's a little out of the way, but people are coming here and discovering unique delicacies here. And some of the uh, things that you bake here are being uh, shipped to other parts of the United States, isn't it? That's right. And we're here with Dan and Jane Marat of the Tiffany Bakery. So we opened a pie shop. And uh, Jane said she remembered that there was a bakery in this building here back when she was a little girl. She was from Mears. Oh. So you, you're, this and used to be a bake shop? So this used to be a bake shop. Started in 1915. It was built for a bakery. Mm -hmm. And it ran as a bakery by Webb Tiffany, is what we took the name from, mm -hmm. and until he retired in 1946. Mm -hmm. And it sat empty until we opened it up five summers ago. You heard right. This quaint little bake shop stood idle for nearly half a century, standing sleepily unnoticed in the streets of Mears until owner Ed Johnson agreed to allow the Marats to continue the baking tradition at the shop. The Tiffany Bake Shop is fondly recalled by many of the elders in the community as a special place of sweet smells and warm memories. Ed told us these memories are now being revived along with new ones made by the Marats. The great outdoors is a subject of many Michigan artists. With what we have in our state, it is no wonder so many inspired photographers can be found, like Carl Sams and Gene Stonick. Well, I, I grew up on an on island on, on the Asaba River, and from the time I was a little kid, I hunted and fished. And um, Jeannie was an art teacher, and, and she sort of encouraged me to get into photography. And uh, once I got a, a camera in my hand, it was all over. You know, I tried all these different art, art projects, but uh, photography was, uh, uh, well, it caused me to sell my guns and bows for a down payment on a lens. And <laughs> now I can shoot 40,000 deer and not be arrested and have yeah. no seasons, no license. And, yeah. It gives us a chance to tell some of the stories uh, uh, about our, our images, uh, particularly when we run into the people at um, the various shows that we do on weekends. It's an awful lot of people who um, have a new gained interest in, in wildlife, mm -hmm. and they get very excited and uh, emotional uh, about some of the stories that we tell um, relating to our, our photographs. For our true taste of Michigan, our journey takes us next to Bay City. It's always a treat when we discover something different cooking. The UP is a favorite place to visit for Michigan Magazine, and one of our favorite artists is Dave Wally, whose copper art is known throughout the world. Every, every piece is unique. In every its piece is a little different. It's, it's copper. Uh, we have a few pieces that are the copper color, but it's copper. What we're really selling is color. Color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, here's, I'll do a leaf here that I like the best anyway. Use a lighter color. And it's just a little more here. We get a little bit of orange in here, up on the tips there. Oh, we haven't gotten the blue here yet, have blue. we? Blue. We'll go with the green here first. <laughs> How long did it take you to develop the, and understand these colors? Quite a while, or is it? Oh, I've been at this for, we've been over 20 years now. Now we can watch the purple. See, I'm in there, I'm oh. in there for a little while. See? Look at that. I can't imagine. Yeah, all that color. We hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of some of our favorite stories we've shared with you on Michigan Magazine. And we hope you'll join us each week as we continue to discover more stories of inspiration, which we hope to share with you in the coming years. Please remember, for more information on any of the stories you've seen on Michigan Magazine, call us or visit our website to utilize our fast search engine at the bottom of our homepage. Your northern experience is never complete without a stop at the historic Ma Dieters of Luzerne. Enjoy the ambiance inside or outside on the huge patio area. Order from the complete menu with entrees served hot, fresh, and good. Come experience Ma Dieters in the heart of God's country, Luzerne, Michigan. Vacation. Don't make the planning of it more than what you're trying to get away from. At NorthernMichiganCabinRentals.com, you can choose from over 2,500 cabins, cottages, lodges, resorts, lakefront vacation home rentals, and more. Whatever experience you're looking for, from rustic to luxury and everything in between. No more rustling with telephone books. No more endless internet searches. Just one site with over 2,500 Northern Michigan destinations. NorthernMichiganCabinRentals.com 
So there you have it. We've been to so many places, met so many wonderful people, and yet the best is yet to come. Thanks for joining us each week on Michigan Magazine. Now, here's the phrase of the week. Discovering the Great Lakes off the beaten path. You know what to do. Send it to us via snail or email. Have a great week. And we'll see you all here on the next edition of Michigan Magazine. We'd like to thank all those that help keep Michigan Magazine on the road. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare. A winning combination. Cops and Donuts. Experience the beauty, artistry, and taste of northern Michigan. Come to Amish Country Natural Products on Mount Tom Road, north of Mile, just off M33. From arts and crafts to fresh foods and vegetables. All natural, all local, all good. Stop by and get acquainted with Amish Country Natural Products. 1454 North Mount Tom Road, Mile. Hale Hardware, your do it center at Hale, Michigan. Much more than a regular hardware store are providing everything you need for whatever your project is, along with a knowledgeable sales staff to get her done. Serving Northern Michigan since 1946. Hale Hardware, south of M65 at Ainsley in Hale. Flu season, be prepared. Get your immunizations now at Rose City Drug, your one-stop pharmacy, home health care, and medical supply outlet. Offering a variety of on-site immunizations. Walk-ins are of course welcome. Call now for more information. Rose Valley Winery on Beachwood Road in Rose City. See what thousands are raving about, creating a delicious variety of award-winning Michigan wines. Stop by and taste for yourself. The taste of Michigan is yours at Rose Valley Winery.